Hey guys, Budget Girl here, and I don't know if you can tell in this lighting, but I got the crap burn out of me this weekend. Like, my face and my chest here, and it doesn't look as bad as it did, and I'm about to show you why. Because I have, uh, as a really, really, really white person, uh, I have found several ways over the years to both prevent and get over a sunburn cheaply and the preventative I kind of I kind of missed the bus on um, on Saturday I I'm sure most of you have heard about the helicopter crash off the coast of Florida and the four National Guard soldiers and seven Marines that died well two of those National Guard soldiers were from here in Hammond and as a reporter for the newspaper on Saturday I went out to the air base and waited on the tarmac for about three hours for the transfer of the casket and uh, to take photos and do all that stuff. So, unfortunately, I was out on the tarmac on the hottest day of the year so far, I think, with the sun beating down on me, and I couldn't leave, and I just got burnt to a crisp, and, like, my arms all red, and my back is blistered, and... This, this part right here was really, really bad. So, what I immediately did was I went to one of my favorite stores, the Dollar Tree, to pick up some sunscreen. What? Wait. Did you know that the Dollar Store sells sunscreen that actually works? Yes, they do. I'm about to change your summer. So, they, um, at least the one closest to me, sells these two kinds of sunscreen. This is a pump spray and this is a lotion. Both a dollar each. They're both four ounces, SPF 30, and I've used them before. They work. Uh, this kind goes on pretty, pretty well, as you can see. And then it just takes a second to rub in. And this kind. And they both smell good, too. Like, they smell good. And this kind goes on like most sunscreens a little white and then there you go and it's not greasy it's it's pretty good as far as sunscreen grows it's a little greasy but it's sunscreen and uh, I actually I actually bought a whole bunch of these because I believe in having backups um, I will keep one at home and on just on my dresser so hopefully I'll be able to remember every single day before I get dressed to coat myself because prevention is really the best way to take care of a sunburn. One in my purse, one in my office, and one in my car. That may sound like overkill, but I have done this uh this backup system with several things like I keep uh deodorant in all four of those places. I keep um Oh, hand sanitizer in all four of those places, little Kleenexes in all four of those places, and uh, several like little medicines and stuff like that because I never, I always want to have what I need. And if it had been later in the year, I would have had one of these in my purse. And then when I was at the tarmac, I could have just whipped it out and sprayed myself down and been protected, but I didn't think it was time yet. And <laughs> it was time. Um, so uh, it'll take a couple of weeks to go through each of these, uh, probably a little more. I think uh, before, I mean, I haven't timed these, especially since I use them in multiple places, but it should, it should last at least a few weeks. Um, and the prices on this is so much better than the generics that you would get at Walmart or Target or the Dollar Tree. Uh, these, the size usually cost four to six or more dollars, depending on what brand you get. Um, for... The, I, this is, they don't have like the aerosol spray on that, but I actually find those to be a little wasteful. You know, you spray and the cloud, you can just see how much is going away. It's at least half uh, over again what you're using. But yeah, this really works. You should definitely pick some up. Keep it in your car, keep it in your purse, keep it at home because nobody likes skin cancer. So, alright, if you already have a sunburn like me, and I promise you, this was like a second degree burn on Saturday. It was really, really bad. And I still had to go back to work. So, um, uh, there are a couple of cheap ways to fix it, too. Uh, I really enjoy these after sun aloe type sprays. 
Unfortunately, they're very expensive. I just bought this one and it was $5 and these are around the same price. And while they're very nice, especially for your back where you can't reach, they're not budget friendly because I think I went through this entire can, which I bought last year. Um, I mean, it's empty. I have two that are empty. Uh, just in, since Saturday. <laughs> so, uh, the Dollar Tree, however, has this lovely gel, which is aloe vera gel and it's nice it works exactly the way normal aloe vera gel does and you just rub it on and it feels so much better and this this kind is exactly like the expensive kind I, I have the expensive kind in my um in my bathroom too and this works just as well so uh and also if um you, know, you can only put on so much aloe vera to, to soothe it and I found the way to keep it from peeling is to apply lotion just as frequently and these giant bottles of lotion are also from the Dollar Tree and they have aloe in them and they don't just say they have aloe in them I checked the ingredients they actually have aloe vera in them so um, this is a really nice lotion I actually already had this bottle I just after sh the shot after a shower I usually put lotion on my feet and my elbows and my knees and stuff like that and uh, it's I just load myself up with it uh, when I'm burnt and it it stops peeling and it helps it get away faster because your skin when you're sunburned is just so dehydrated and so I find this not is not only very soothing but it helps now as you can see it does kind of stay white for a while it could be because I've put sunscreen on this arm but it is a nice non oily lotion like I said I just use it anyway and for a 20 ounce bottle it's it smells nice it works and it you know, just takes a second see now it's gone uh, for the Dollar Tree this is this is excellent lotion that I load up on when I'm sunburned and I use anyway and I don't know if you guys have the same problems finding good lotions as I do it seems like every time I go to the store and try to test them to see if I would like it they're they either smell bad or it takes forever to fade in or they're super greasy and you can only try a couple because it gets on your hands and then but this this stuff is good and I would I would much recommend it I just picked up another bottle because I just coat it especially on the bad parts of the burns and it soaks it right up and it feels so much better this was like tomato red yesterday and Saturday and it's feeling so much better now especially right before bed I just coat myself in it so yeah those uh, oh other things I do I also have tried this recently I tried it Saturday night an oatmeal bath if you have never tried it if you take regular whole oats whole rolled oats and you put a cup or two into a nice soft sock and tie it off and stick it into a um, not hot not cold but kind of tepid warm bath with you um, it makes the water all cloudy and it smells wonderful and you can take the sock full of oats and just kind of squeeze it all over your burn and it's very very soothing and then when you get out of the bath lotion that sucker up so those are a couple of really cheap resources that you can use to both prevent and treat sunburn at the dollar store for all of this stuff I spent with you seven dollars so and that's that's for two giant tubs of lotion three of these and these suckers so uh, I hope you don't get burned and I hope you can use some of these resources to help you keep your skin nice and, and pretty and tan throughout the summer and not at all red and blotchy and tomatoey where everyone is like, hey, you got burned. Yes, I know. All right. Bye, guys. See you next time.